out of this. Um, in the process, they pretty much destroyed this. This is a cemetery. Oh, gosh. And so it's an extreme disrespect to those people. Mm -hmm. You know, we will not be messing with this ground at all. We are leaving this as a sacred spot. And we are concentrating on the living area. But this is also why the refuge wants to protect this, mm -hmm. to stop this kind of destruction from happening continuously. We know, and you can also see where the root balls of some of these trees are, just how much erosion has happened here. It's been pretty destructive, mm -hmm. you know, this activity. Mm -hmm. this <laughs> Usually when we excavate, we immediately fill back in and re-terraform the area. But by leaving these big, huge holes, it destabilizes some of the trees, which mm -hmm. then fall over, and it causes more destruction, and then there's more erosion mm -hmm. in this area, too. So that's why that tree over there twisted. fell down? Um, yeah, there was, you can see part of a, of a hole, large hole there at the bottom, yeah. too. But yeah. that guy is also very old, so <laughs> it's time to go. And sometimes trees fall, you know, yeah. that's what they do. Um, so we do try and keep our ear down when <laughs> 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 we're out here as well. Um, this is a hardwood hammock. That's why they call it a ha bird hammock, is that it's a hardwood hammock. This area has actually never been logged or farmed. The bird family's homestead was actually across the Wakulla uh, Beach Road on the other side of it. So they owned like over a, a nearly 140 acres of okay. land. At oh one wow! Point. Yeah. So their homestead was actually across the the road and stuff. So this area has never been farmed, and that's why you see these huge oak mm -hmm. trees. We have oak trees um, that are definitely what we consider grandfather oaks, so over 150 years old. Um, you'll notice that the holly trees aren't these little scraggly little bushes. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just yeah. you know, <laughs> huge, massive hollies just grown up and everything like that. Um, we also have uh, one of the cousins of the hollies that you can kind of see out here is called a yapon. And a yapon was a is actually um, significant to native people for ceremonial reasons. You can actually use the leaves of it to brew an extremely high caffeinated beverage called the black drink. If you consume too much of the black drink, though, because of the extreme amounts of caffeine in it, it would actually cause you to vomit. Oh, wow. So the scientific name for it is Ilex Vomitoria. And that's why. <laughs> um, but there's a couple of those trees out here as well. Um, but, you know, that's one of those things that they figured out that, you know, you can, you can consume it in small doses or you can consume it in large doses. And just like anything else, if you take too much of anything in, it can make you ill. <laughs> but they actually used it in ceremonial um, uh, purposes. And th that's actually been pretty well documented. We actually have drawings of when the first Europeans came over here, the conquistadors came through this area, they actually have um, recordings about them participating in these ceremonies and participating in the black drink ceremony. So it, it's kind of interesting. Hopefully we'll actually find evidence maybe of those particular berries um, in our excavations as well. So pretty cool, huh? So the site on the north side, this is the south side of the site. The site on the north side is almost identical. It has a midden circle, which we call midden rings. All right. So what happens is they lived inside, and they would probably had some kind of housing structure, which we're looking for evidence of, and we think we might have found evidence of one. And then they, of course, tossed their garbage behind them, making this circle. 